News Channel 4 posted a story called, Could a leak in New Mexico nuclear waste site reach the Sooner States? Where they interviewed Dr. John Nail, a Oklahoma City University chemistry professor who equates radioactive fallout with bananas. And why is Dr. John Nails demonizing bananas? Did he slip on a banana peel and lose a loss? <laughs> was he traumatized by a banana when he was a kid? <laughs> Did a banana beat him up and steal his lunch money? <laughs> Did he get mugged by a banana? Did a banana steal his girlfriend? <laughs> he probably has to dress up as a banana to get a banana, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Maybe he was sitting there with a banana in his pocket during the interview and he was trying to subconsciously deflect his embarrassment by talking shit about bananas. <laughs> Maybe he's addicted to banana splits and he rubs it all over himself in the back of his van on the ice cream parking lots. And it's a shame, but he can't control himself. He does have a nervous look to him. Why well, did Channel 4 ask a banana fearmonger and chemist about nuclear folly when a university is full of real scientists anyway? Is that not yellow journalism? Shouldn't that be considered misleading, even hostile? Dare I say even a hate crime? <laughs> When you see a fire at a repository for nuclear waste and they mention bananas, you have to realize that it's not full of bananas. <laughs> it's full of brutal radioactive uranium-238 with a half-life of 4.5 billion years. Uranium-238 makes up 95% of the nuclear waste there. And it is contaminated with americium, plutonium, neptunium. You would have to eat 29 million bananas to get the same radiation as a cubic meter of radioactive air from the hot radioactive particles pouring at a New Mexico depository. What they should be looking for is uranium-238 because that is the bulk of the waste and is the real issue. And because they had a fire, no one will get back in there, ever. That place is extraordinarily contaminated. That's a fact. Unless they hired a homeless like they do at Fukushima. So ask yourself, why are they mud raking the good names of bananas? What do bananas ever do to them? It should fall under hate speech laws because, damn it, bananas are people too. This message was brought to you by the Citizens Against University Professors and Scientists Demonizing Bananas in the Fukushima Hounds. Take care, folks.